Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of the Dan Dawson Show. So, I was thinking, right? There are rules that every man lives his life by. And some of these rules are very helpful. So I wanted to share with you this morning a few of the rules I live my life by. The first, most of, one of the most important, is it's actually a mob rule, so, but it works. Another man's wife, girlfriend, daughter, mother, sister, if they're your friend, they're hands off. And it's not just about dating. Like, uh, let me tell you a funny story. I had this one friend, uh, we used to watch football together every Sunday. So I'd go over to his house, right? Well, there were a few Sundays where he's like, oh, I've got to run out and get some beer or something. I'll meet you over there. I'm like, okay. So this happened about two or three times during the course of like a month, right? Like, get the beer the day before. So, but, <laughs> well, he laughed at me. He's like, why aren't you in the house? I told you it's okay to go in. And I'm like, mm, no, I don't do that. If you're not here, there's no reason for me to be in your house, right? Because, you know, some guys will go in, laugh, chuck it up with your wife, blah, 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 blah. That doesn't sit well with me. I don't like it. I don't allow it in my house. <clears throat> if I'm not here, there's no need for you to be here. If you're my friend, right? So come to find out, a few months later, his wife was cheating. And me and him had the conversation, and I was like, well, you know, at least you know who it wasn't. And he just laughed. He's like, yeah, and he adopted the rule himself. So that's one of my rules. You don't hit on them. You don't mess with them. If the guy's around, carry, carry on a friendly conversation. I know it's an antiquated rule. But if something does happen, at least you're out of the line of suspects. You know what I'm saying? So, and plus, you're dating somebody's sister and it goes wrong. Now you have this friend. Whatever happened with his sister happened or his whatever. Mother. Now there's hard feelings. So you have that undercurrent of hard feelings. So what don't get involved in the first place, it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> so it, it makes your life a little easier. As far as ex-wives, ex-girlfriends, nope, off limit. If you've ever been with my friend, I'll never be with you. Ever. Ever. It's just not going to happen. One is the nasty idea of following my friend. You get what I'm saying. Also, you should have a certain amount of respect for the people you call friends. You wouldn't want them doing that to you. Don't create harsh situations where there's no need for it. Two, be judicious with your money. You know, I did a video the other day talking about this a little bit, about how I used to not be judicious with my money. And be judicious with your money so you can be giving with your money and your time. You know, if make smart purchases, don't go out and create debt. Like one of my little things, if I'm tired, I won't buy anything online. Because we tend to make bad decisions when we're, you know, sleep deprived, tired, you haven't slept well. Um, two, meet everybody you treat with respect. You know, that's the old rule. Most of my parents told us that. It, it doesn't cost you anything to be nice to somebody, to treat them with respect. You never know that that hello, or that smile, or that have a nice day might be what's keeping some people from going over the edge, especially in a time like COVID. Especially at a time like COVID. Another issue I have, right, or another rule I have, is if we're friends and you tell me something in confidence, say we have a falling out, I will never reveal what you said to me. I could hate your guts. I'm not going to go around telling people you said this or you said that. Because after that point, it's no longer my business and it doesn't serve me a purpose to do that. So keep those on the books. Uh, those are some good ones. Um, tell me what you think about those. And if you have any rules you live with or that you live by, any a code, it's just a small part of my code. It's not a very extensive code because it doesn't need to be. But um, those are, and that's just a little part of it. But if you have a code, let me know what that code is. You know? The um, Also, do you find yourself like I do? If you don't have the same code I have, 
I won't let you in my inner circle. Does that make sense? That's why me and Dr. Fax have been friends for almost 20 years because we live by the same code. So, yeah, if you have any, pass them on. Hey, maybe I'll, I'll use a couple of them. So thank you for watching this episode of The Dan Dawson Show. Like, subscribe, do what you got to do.